Hello, people of Bikini Bottom. Welcome to another Illuminate devotional. My name is Colin, and here are your illuminating minutes of illumination. <laughs> so, here we are at the end of June. For this month, we've been discussing nom noms of faith. Honey, honey bear, honey bee, Billy bee, honey, Canadian honey. Why do I have honey here? Well, I'm going to talk about milk and honey today. What? Milk and honey? Yeah, so you might be reading your Bible, particularly the Old Testament, early on in the Old Testament, when the Israelites are still trying to find their place and wandering around and all that good stuff. Uh, you come across the phrase, a land flowing with milk and honey, often like 20 times or so between Exodus and Deuteronomy, maybe? Anyway, and you might be wondering, well, what does that even mean? Like, do you mean like rivers full of milk? Or like honey dripping off trees? No, silly boy, silly girl. I'm talking about bountiful and plentiful earth. So here we go. Um, of course, we know through Genesis, God is making promises to his people. He's establishing uh, the Israelites, you know, his people devoted to him and uh, a people that he's devoted to himself. And so they, they're wandering in the wilderness. This is after uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, after, you know, that line has been established by God. Uh, they go into slavery for years and years and years and years. Uh, and now God is telling his servant Moses that he's tired of his people living in slavery. He's tired of his people being uh, not given anything, not living in plentiful, not receiving blessing from his creation. Uh, so he promises to Moses in Exodus chapter 3, verse 8, God, speaking to Moses, says, I have come down to rescue them, my people, from their suffering, from the hand of the Egyptians, to bring them up out of that land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And so he's talking about the land of Canaan here. Uh, and of course, you might be familiar with, you know, as they as they go through being freed from captivity uh, to wandering in the wilderness for a long time, walking through the desert, you hear this phrase a lot. And people are like, they keep hearing it, they don't know if they believe it because they're still wandering, they were in slavery and they were promised bountiful good land. Now they're wandering the desert and they don't see this bountiful good land and God's still saying, hey, I'm gonna provide this land for you. Just keep trusting me. Just keep following me. <sighs> anyway, they finally come to the land of Canaan. They send spies in. These spies, most of them report back with like terror and uh, they're like, the people are huge. We're going to die if we go in there. But there's two spies that say, no, this land is flowing with milk and honey. And again, we're not talking about rivers of milk and honey falling from the sky. Listen to this thought. The presence of milk producing animals implied grasses and other vegetation. Honey indicated pollinating creatures such as bees. Okay, so in other words, this land is green. This land is lush with vegetation. It's plentiful. It is a land that can provide them with what they need and blessing and even comfort to some extent. And so this might sound not like a huge deal to us, but consider what it meant for people who spent years and years and years in slavery in Egypt, and then years and years and years wandering in a desert that did not have green vegetation uh, and pollinating creatures such as bees. And so God simply is, pr is promising his people over and over again, 
I'm gonna take you to a land where you can be, where you can thrive, where you can be comforted, where you can experience uh, the beauty in my creation, in lush green vegetation uh, that can sustain livestock so that you can have milk, uh, that has flowers and other beautiful plants uh, that has pollinating insects such as bees that can provide you with honey, right? <sighs> so here's the point. God promises us blessing. He promises us with lush green life, right? Sometimes we don't see it because we're wandering around in the desert and God keeps telling us, you know, milk and honey is coming. And yet we're like, I don't see it now. So what gives God? And so we often lose trust in him and lose faith in him. So that's where, you know, patience in his plan, trust in his provision comes into play. If God is promising you milk and honey in your life and you don't see it right now, just wait, it's coming. He's going to take you to that land where you can see green vegetation and lush plants and green grass that provides cows that give milk and plants that have bees which give honey. Yeah, so trust in God's timing, trust in God's provision, have faith in his goodness because he's going to take you to that place, that land flowing with milk and honey. Uh, this has been your Illuminate devotional for this week. I'll see you next week where in the month of July we'll continue to talk about food in the Bible. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you have a beautiful week and stay cool and go drink some milk or something. <laughs>